As a Cisco Certified Network Associate, it's not just routers and switches that you're going to be familiar with, but certainly our journey begins there. In this video, we're going to start our discussion of the role and function of network components, and we are going to be starting with some of the most famous ones, and that is going to be the routers and the switches. And we remember that routers are our layer three devices. Now, layer three is referring to our OSI model here, and at layer three, we are dealing with IP addresses. So this is pretty visible, right, to all of us. And, and this is why most people have a very, very easy time understanding the router. They have one in their small office, home office. They have one in their home. They have one certainly in their large enterprise, many of them. And they understand that these devices are routing traffic from IP address to IP address on an intranet, a private network, maybe inside their enterprise, and even on the public internet. Now at layer two, we have our layer two switches though. One of the things that you'll note with switches right away when comparing them to routers is that they have a lot more ports. A layer two switch is designed to be getting workstations and PCs and servers connected to the network, typically with gigabit ethernet these days, and it's the job of this switch to have all these ports and to get as many people connected as humanly possible and to offer really, really great speed. Now, as we're going to learn in our CCNA training here, these devices are kind of eavesdropping. Yeah, they're looking at frames that enter and they're looking at the source MAC address of these frames, and they're learning that information and mapping those MAC addresses to their ports so that they transparently learn where the MAC addresses live and can then intelligently forward the appropriate traffic to the appropriate port. We could compare this to the hubs that we used to have in networks, which were miserably inefficient because those hubs would just spit the bits out all of the ports without any cool filtering whatsoever. Now, if you think there's a best of both worlds scenario, you'd be right. Layer three switches are amazing. They're going to give us the ability to do that high speed switching and transparent learning that we just spoke of. But what's really exciting about them is that they also have the ability to route. So here you have a device that can do both things for you. It can get everybody connected or most of our uh, users connected. And at the same time, it can make those routing decisions based on IP address. One of the things that we love about layer three switches is that they just have incredible incredible speeds that they can offer because it's one device that's able to do the switching and the routing all in the same chassis and just really nothing gets faster than that. Now, if you're just getting started with these devices, it will really help to take kind of a tour of them. And Cisco makes this possible. It's so cool. Up at their website, if you do a search or even a Google search for Cisco interactive 3D models, you'll be brought to a website that gives you the ability to take these devices and just absolutely play with them, as you can see me doing here. So we can take a 3945 integrated services router from Cisco and we can check it out. Notice that routers have come a long way, haven't they? And one of the really awesome things about these products now is that they are more modular than ever before. So to kind of demonstrate that, I've spun this device around, as you can see, and now what I'm going to do is just take those clips, move them outward, and I'm going to slide this module out. And sure enough, in the interactive 3D model, we can get all kinds of information about what is going on in here. There's these little kind of pins that you can drop in the interactive 3D model, and you can find out what stuff is. Notice with this 3945, we said it's an integrated services router. And what that means is there's specialized hardware inside it for doing more than just data. For instance, these three little gadgets right here, they are 
video ready DSP modules. And as you can see, they're tuned for transcoding and conferencing for voice and video. So this router is really targeted at an environment where we're doing tons of collaboration. And this would be a great router to forward and process that collaboration traffic with voice, video, and data flowing through the device. Well, as I alluded to in the introduction to this video, there is more to the network these days than just our routers and our switches and our multi-layer or layer three switches. Yeah. And in the next video, we'll take a look at some more of these critical network infrastructure components that we are going to want to at least consider taking advantage of. Thanks for watching.